Welcome everybody, uh, just wanted to kind of do a video to help launch my new secondary channel. It's a channel based on electronics and hobby stuff, you know, that kind of geek things. But either way, I talked to some of you guys about making a handicap system for my mom to open and close the door and control lights and eventually add more to it. So here it is. Uh, you can see there's a couple of different attempts here. The first one, I ended up frying the microcontroller in it. And in this one, I fried a couple of relay modules. And then finally, that one that works. So basically, you know, plug into the wall. Come over here, turn it on. Now it'll do its little boot up sequence. It's got a, I put a screen on here just to kind of show what it's doing and you know, Brian King software. So, it, it takes about 30 seconds to initialize. It gives the system time to boot up and it would automatically close this relay if it was open, or this actuator. You can see that button back there is gonna go outside on the fence. So, by the time she comes up to the house, she can push the button and it'll open the door for her but she's also got this handy dandy remote so now once this is booted up she'll be able to just uh you know she wants to go inside outside whatever she can just hold down the button and it pushes now there's going to be a lever system here this pushes on the lever system so for every inch this opens it opens the door about a foot and it stays open for a short while and then it'll close the door. So, the whole lever system, as you can see, this the actuators are slow unless you get the really expensive ones. So I figured I'd just do it that way instead. This is how it's gonna mount to the wall, obviously. Now in this case, I've also added an extension cord type deal for now. I'll make a better wire later, but it's good solid wire nutted and shrink tube. But if she's, uh, she wants to turn the light on, she can just hit the button. And there you go. Turns the light on. Turn the light off. Now there's also an adjustable timer on that, so it'll stay on for so many hours and then automatically turn it off. So, you know, I've also had to add a fan in there. You can kind of hear it and see it. All these electronics get a little hot. It runs off a normal household 110. And this right here converts to 12 volt, which runs the system. Then most, some of these things, like these two over here, these are the remote relays. They run on uh, 12 volt. And this is an Arduino Mega. 2650 uh, microprocessor, very good guys. It's got a built-in C++ programming language. So, uh, you know, anybody familiar with C or C++ will know it's pretty powerful. And then you got a remote uh, um, motor controller here. Now this is the uh, power in, this green one, 12 volts to power in to the uh, motor controller. And then this right here, that's the actuator, and this is the fan. So I've actually got it going 12 volts out to the actuator, and uh, five volts to this fan here to cool the system off. And then, uh, you know, the LCD is just a little uh, four line, 24 column LCD, nothing fancy. So it turns on, turns off, does what it's supposed to do. And I've got other sensors I'll be adding to it later for smoke detection, carbon monoxide, all of that. And uh, as well as attaching it to the security system. So, you know, my new channel is called Electric Vision. There's going to be a link in the description below. I'd uh, appreciate it if you guys would go and give it a subscribe. Thank you.